And a very good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Issues and Attitudes. My name is Jeff Owens, interim GM at WEIU. My co-host is Alicia Hayes. Hi, everyone. And making another appearance, Mr. Ed Dowd from the Mattoon Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very excited to be here today. I tell you what, we got lucky because last week we had uh, Jessica uh, Meadows, uh, Meadows, I keep yeah. wanting to say Kilo, <laughs> and they had just had the Charleston annual dinner. Today we have Ed Dowd, and you just had your uh, your dinner and receptions this weekend. So why don't we just start there, talk about this past sure, weekend. Sure, it was great. We had um, a packed house at the Mattoon Golf and Country Club. We had three honorees this year, which are actually four honorees this year, which is very exciting. We had the uh, Small Business of the Year, which actually went to the Mattoon Public Library. Um, a very unique situation. Um, again, it was voted on by the members and the general public. And what's happening at the library is just amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance, check out the basement. Uh, Chris Zerdick, Zerdick yeah. he's doing an unbelievable job with the history, and he's just laying it all out there for everyone to see. So great, great uh, awardee, and it was fantastic. Then we had the Citizen of the Year, which actually was a couple. It was Jim and Paula Carney. And uh, they were involved for 20 or almost 30 years with uh, Mattoon T-Ball and Mattoon Baseball. You know, 400 kids a year would benefit from this. A lot of kids who really didn't have, you know, the uh, in poverty and things. And this, this was their opportunity to shine and to, you know, have the nice uniform and to play baseball. So real exciting and well-deserved honor for them. My middle school math teacher, by the way, Mr. Carney. Really? Yeah. Hey, that's cool. Yep. He's really, he's good yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you did really well in math, right? Oh, yeah, math is my oh. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> How I got out of there, I don't know, Jim, but thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then we had the um, ambassador of the year went to Brandy Forrest, who works for Mattoon Rehab and Health Care Center. Great uh, you know, ambassadors. They do so much for the chamber. We yeah. couldn't do it without them. And then we actually had a legacy award, which is something unique, something new we had, and it was for Carrie Young. And Carrie Young... She had a. She developed a trust. She was so enamored with Mattoon. When she moved to Mattoon after being in other areas for her whole life, she said people were so welcoming and the community was so welcoming to her that she said, you know what, I want to give part of my legacy to the residents and for the betterment of Mattoon. And since 1984 when she passed, we've been able to give $700,000 to 65 God. different or, uh, non-for-profit organizations in Mattoon. And what a legacy she left. And uh, Steve Ryan, who, who wrote her trust, he was the one who, uh, you know, presented the award and just said, you know, what a, what a fantastic thing that she was able to give in her legacy. So very That's neat. That's awesome. Very that is neat. cool. Over yeah. $700,000. What was yeah. her, like, there was a story. Do you have any backstory about it? Yeah, I, I remember so, the name, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so what happened was she had actually lived in Cumberland County for a long time. And, you know, she... In later in life, after her brothers both passed away, she had no family, no, uh, she wasn't married or anything. And after they passed away, she said, you know, I'm going to try Mattoon. And, and Steve Ryan, who's a lawyer, Mattoon, said, you know what, there's a, you know, Mattoon's a great place to live. She moved here, and she said that people were so welcoming in her area. They all came over, gave her food, you know, socialized with her because she didn't really have anybody. And she was just so happy with Mattoon and, you know, so thrilled that she said, you know what, I'd like to give part of my actually the bulk of her estate to Mattoon. And what's nice is the way it was invested, we've been able to give, like I said, 700000 of her initial $159,000 investment. And uh, we still have 400000 that left to give. So, you know, she gave it to the Mattoon Chamber of Commerce and we get to administer it. And every year we give between twenty and thirty thousand dollars to non for profit organizations and it's just been just been So this is gonna wonderful. carry on forever it really can carry right? on forever, yeah, because we, we have to give a certain percent but we only have to give the um ten percent of the principal, which works out to about what we get in the interest. So it's just it's a fantastic awesome. fantastic cool. YMCA has been the biggest benefactor and you know they, they they're just so thrilled to be getting that money. So that's cool. Yeah. You wanted to ask about the thing as Yeah, so I remember last time uh, that we that you were here sure. Marshall's wasn't open. That, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That, yeah. yes, yes. So that's that's an update. But there's something else that you talked about, and for the life of me, I, I can't remember what exactly it was. It was a business initiative, and I want to say Google was involved Correct. with this. So Correct. So where's the update on that? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. We ended up winning, and I, I think it was we weren't sure we were going to win last time we talked. Mm -hmm. We ended up winning $325,000 from the Google Impact Challenge. We had 75000 and then we got an an another $250,000. But because we were the one of the top ten 
awardees, and we were the people's choice for number one. So we're opening up Elevate, CCIC Inc., the Innovation Center out at the mall, 6,000 square feet. We're going to have, you know, people like you, just people who are interested in maybe starting a business or, you know, have an idea for a product. We're going to have the opportunity for them to grow here in our community and then start their business. So we're really excited about that. And by the end of this month, it will mm -hmm. be open and it will have the opportunity for people. We're going to have so many different aspects of it. We're going to have FarmBot, which is a, it's an opportunity for 4-H kids to code and to learn the latest and greatest farming technologies, you know, through computerized systems and things. That's and, cool. Yeah, and then uh, other things we're going to have there is um, we're going to have Code Platoon, which is an opportunity for veterans and their spouses to be able to code and have the opportunity to learn computer skills so that they can, you know, have businesses themselves. Yeah. So a lot of different aspects to it. It's going to be real exciting. And, and coding, I mean, that that is a huge, huge uh, area of, of interest now. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, it just goes to show how far we've come. But I, this is my ignorance that's showing. I had no idea that farming, you could do coding in farming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? absolutely. Now, when it opens, it, will the public be able to go in and view? How, what were the rules and things Correct. like that? Correct. What it, what it is, it's going to, you, there is memberships there, but we're definitely going to, you know, the public's going to be able to visit it and check it out and everything. But um, there are membership opportunities available. Um, and the other nice thing is, Lakeland College and DIU are both supporting it and so let's say you're you know wanting to be an entrepreneur and you don't have these <coughs> skills or understand all the business acumen so Lakeland is going to give them 27 free hours of credit which is I don't know uh, you know better than I would that would be like almost <laughs> yeah that's a, like a, that's two that's semesters two semesters, two semesters yeah. for free if they are members of this innovation center and they're going to have them teach the best skills you know financing accounting economics the things that they need to be able to start their own business so that's really exciting they're going to get those tuition waivered uh, classes and then we have a group of over 50 people who are willing to mentor these people you know that that's another hard thing is you know. You want people who have been there, done that. And that's what these kids are going to have the opportunity to have mentors. And these people all vol are volunteering their time to be mentors. Oh, that's so brilliant. It's really exciting. And, and, and we think it's going to be huge for, for so, the community. Well, I was just going to ask, so how is this, something like this, how would it help the community? Yeah, so in other words, and that's what these mentors, that's why they're excited about it. Because this is an opportunity for them to partner with these kids and these or even adults who are wanting to start their own business and they're gonna you know they're gonna start their businesses here in Mattoon we're, you know we're gonna we have different spaces that we know are gonna be available to them and then so they're gonna have their own business and then these mentors are gonna be able to utilize their services and they're probably gonna utilize mm -hmm. you know the mentor services too so it's just a huge synergy that's gonna help grow our community it's real exciting and hopefully some exciting. of those businesses will decide they want to stay in Mattoon in the long term absolutely right? yeah. absolutely yeah so, headquarters are Based here, yeah, absolutely. You know. We want. Man, we want to, we, a big city now. That's right. We want to have the next Google. You know, yeah. we want to. We want to have somebody create the next Google and then and then have he, our location. As it's the, exciting. It's not that this, crazy. When you think YouTube no, was invented can, in Champaign. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's yeah. what I mean. I mean, yeah. this is gonna. It's a huge hub now. You absolutely. know, I, I feel like that's a good goal to have. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, and and we're we're working. What's funny is there's some national organizations that are part of this LISC, which is headquartered in Washington D.C. They are a national organization with, they're in 45 states, 88 different businesses, and they came to us and said, what's going on? What are you guys doing? We want to be part of this. So now we're network partners with them, and we're going to be have access to all 88 different organizations. Mm -hmm. They're going to learn from us. We're going to learn from them. So it's real exciting stuff. Real so, exciting some stuff. other new businesses that are going to open are going to announce they're coming. You know, you had the Shoe Sensations, Glicks, and then Shores is, is, is Rebuild's almost done. Abs Talk about those three. Absolutely. Uh, Glicks and Shoe Sensation, they're, they're planning an opening in March. And actually, Harold's been moving very quickly, and he's, try, he's shooting for a March date. So we're going to have three different retailers opening up very soon. You know, in Mattoon, Shoe Sensations has taken over the old Sarah Bush walk-in clinic next, next near where Buffalo Wild Wings is. They're taking 4,000 square feet. Glicks has taken the old... Um, uh, what is it? The 
Hallmark, the old Hallmark yeah. in the mall. So that's exciting. And, and as you'd mentioned when we talked earlier, they came back, actually. They used to be. Yeah, they were a staple at the mall for yeah, years. Yeah, they were a yeah. staple. And they said, you know what? They heard all the great things that are happening in the mall. They said, you know, we'd like to come back. So we're real excited about it. They're actually going to be right next to the Innovation Center. And they're excited about that with all the traffic we're going to get. Yeah. And, and they target so. young f folks. So that exactly. Would, yeah, makes, exactly. Makes yeah. sense, too. Yeah, so. there you go. And then I also so. heard the big rumor this weekend that you didn't even know about. I, I broke news to him. <laughs> yes, oh, Jersey really. Mike's coming to Matt. Tune is the is a, is a a 99.99 percent truthful rumor right there there. So what do you think about that? <laughs> okay, I don't know what Jersey Mike's is. It's a sub shop. You ever heard of Jersey Mike's? No. Oh yeah, no. They're, I'm they're sorry. Big. They're like bad now. big on the East Coast, obviously with the name Jersey Mike's, but they're they're coming here. They're in Metro St. Louis, but this will be one of their most central locations right here. And, Interesting. And the, and the nice thing is, you know, as as uh, you had mentioned earlier. When when we have, they're going to have warm subs, you know, so it's the heated subs where we don't necessarily get that. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy John's is great, nothing wrong with Jimmy John's, but, you know, if you want a warm sub, this will be another option. So they have to have so Philly cheesesteaks, right? So, yeah, Philly cheesesteaks, they have to get a Re Reuben and things like that. So there oh, you go, information, you know, we yeah, turn to break So when is that opening up? <laughs> I think around May so, is my, is my it's source. That's awesome. Amazing. So. Amazing. Now, we got to talk about the good stuff. We also have to take the, a little bit about the negative news. But, like you said in my office, even though we know that LSC Communications is going to shut down July 1st of this, this year, uh, there's so many companies in the area that really are ready to take and absorb their employees. It can almost be a win-win if you look at it that way. And I think that's a way that you seem to be looking at it, correct, Absolutely. The, you know, they're... They announced that they're going to have affect 796 employees. They were the third largest employer in Mattoon, you know, which is, you know, that that's tough news. But, you know, the, the, there is always, in my opinion, I'm always, a, you know, glass is, is a more than half full, I always say. Yep. And the, the silver lining is there's so much need locally. All the different plants, Mars, Animate, Just Right, uh, and now Bimbo's Bakeries, all these people need help. So I truly believe that every single one of those employees is going to have the opportunity to get a job locally if they want it because we are going to have two actual job fairs at LSC. LSC is allowing us to have two job fairs where we're going to have, we have already 40 different organizations who are wanting to be part of this because they're in need of people. So again, you know, I really think the timing for these employees, for these associates is good because we're going to, they're going to have the opportunity to get jobs. And, and they have six months to try to pick and choose what they want to do. Exactly, so, exactly. Right. So yeah, they have, they have some time to do it. And I, you know, I really think like I said, it's going to be the good thing is going to be they're all going to have opportunities to get jobs. So really, and Bimbo, uh, the company just bought uh, you bought Linder's Bagels for Correct. like, uh, and you were telling me uh, that this you know if you don't know much about this company, it's pretty fascinating what all they own. Yeah, they they are the the baking gurus. Any if if you look at their their site. Pretty much any bakery goods they they own. They own Sara Lee. They own Thomas's England mu English muffins, Brownberry bread, um, multiple different uh, baked goods. You know organizations, mm -hmm. but you know Sara Lee and the, and all those are. It's just amazing what they own. You know, and, and they're they're little known, but yeah, they're, I know they're I know big. Bimbo. They actually make these little. Um a Mexican pastries yes. that they sell in, in, right. in Mexican shops. That's the only reason why I know Bimbo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's because they have their name on. And it. they have their own bread, and they have a. It's like looks like a little chef. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They have a little chef, and they make their own breads. And they're actually headquartered in the U.S. in Pennsylvania, but they're actually from Mexico. Mm -hmm. the, the original company. Okay. Yeah, but they, you know, it's everything. Every indication is they're planning on. Uh, staying and possibly expanding. So we're real excited about the that partnership. Is a, you know, and, and this is probably just me being a negative person, but I've never heard As you say of, that laughing, that's funny. I, well, you know what? <laughs> Life sucks sometimes. <laughs> um, I've never heard of people or, or a community trying to help 700 unemployed yeah. um uh, members, right? It, it's it's yes. That, that's one thing I love about this community. Everyone rallied around them. We're working with Coles together. We're working with the city of Mattoon, the city of Charleston. We are going to get them jobs. Yeah. You know, and I know that that's that's why I became the chamber executive director is because the just the passion of this community to support each other. And you know, like you said, and I'm I'm always the optimistic person, and I think we're going to get these people jobs. Where you know, how many business, how many companies, how many cities would take that extra exactly. step? Exactly. Well, to, and that's the thing. Like I know what it feels like. You know, seeing my parents being unemployed and whatnot, sure. and it's scary. It is, you know, there's there's no sense of security at that point, but it seems like, you know, with these job fairs and w with, you know, both chambers making an effort to try to help 
p- help uh, people. It just, it, I think it's incredible. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. The it's, whole community. I like making that comment. Yeah, you know? the whole community is rallying around these these uh, workers, and we're gonna we're gonna get them jobs. It's it's gonna happen. So very exciting. The other thing that's coming up is the census. I know every time yes. we talk to anybody right now from any organization, they're like census, census, census. So tell us the Ed Dowd version of what people should be thinking about for yes. Mattoon residents. Please, please make sure you get out the vote or get out and uh, and sign up for the census. As you know, Illinois, you know they always talk about. You know, I, like I said, I always try to be positive, but they always say, you know, we're losing, we're losing residents and things. It is so critical. We lose $160 for every person that isn't counted for the census every year for 10 years on federal funding and in different programs for businesses, for community, for everyone. We have a website now that we've created locally. Again, the community is rallying around the census. It's ColesCounty2020.com. If you get a chance, check it out. We want to make sure everyone in our community is counted. You know, every every student at EIU, we want to make sure that you get you get counted because it is so critical that we get the count out and we get everyone counted because we could lose, you know, so many benefits that we normally get, you know, School systems, roads, infrastructure, everything is based on the census. Even new businesses coming to town, they rely on data from the census, whether they're going to come and locate in our community. So it's critical that we get the vote out. Um, you know, for this. So, yes, yes. The, uh, one of the things I know that, you know, obviously we talk about downtown has really renovated itself over the last few yeah. years with businesses either, you know, coming to downtown or, or you, know, you know, cleaning up their business, r- resurrecting their business, or, or even just cleaning up some of the stuff up there. What is the response from the people that, you know, that are shopping as well as the business owners downtown? We talk about the good stuff and all the events, and it's great 5,000 people come to events. That's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But what are the actual business owners saying and some of the people you talk to? They, the business owners are thr- so thrilled with how well downtown is, is growing. And, you know, it's almost, it's almost funny. You know, five years ago, you could, you could throw a, uh, you know, bowling ball down the, <laughs> down the streets and you wouldn't hit anybody in the in the parking spaces. Now, there's actually times where you can't find a parking place downtown Mattoon, and it's so exciting, you know, and, and it's funny, you hear some of the businesses say, yeah, the people come in and they say, I couldn't park, I had to park down the street. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm sorry, but it's a great thing. You know, these businesses are loving the fact that a lot of people are com- coming downtown again, you know, with Luigi's, you know, they're being open at night. Um, so there's, you know, a lot of downtown businesses are really excited about it. And the library, the way it's, it's increased, and they're right downtown. So a lot of these businesses are really excited about all the different activities happening day and night downtown. So it's great. The minimum wage increase, has it affected uh, much or, or are still people getting used to it? Yeah, the, you know, it, it's, again, it's one of those challenging things. Uh, and a, a lot of businesses are, you know, they're struggling with trying to get it figured out how they're going to do it but i really think you know in the long run they'll they'll figure it out and they'll find ways to you know make it work but yeah it is it is tough when you go there you know they went up to it's going to go up another dollar actually in july as well so it, it's going to be tough but you know they'll, they'll they'll figure out ways to make it work we're talking with Ed Dowd from the Mattoon Chamber of Commerce today here on Issues and Attitude. Do you have something? Or, or well, I was just going to say, hey. you know, being in your position, or I, I guess anyone could really answer this because everyone has their own opinion. Sure. But how do you get people to, to stay in, in this community? So, like, take the students, for example. How do you make the community interesting to them or um, how do you make them want want to stay and give back? Does that make sense? Because part of the big re- reason why businesses stay is because of people. Correct. Correct. Very good point. And a lot of the things that we're trying to do through Mattoon in Motion, through the initiative that we're doing, is figure out how to keep, especially the younger people, get them interested. So, you know, we always hear dog parks are yeah. big with, with millennials, and so we're creating a dog park. The bike trail that's going to go from Charleston to Mattoon and is going to be paved. You know, we're going to have people who can use Amtrak, and we're going to recommend to them, you know what, come down, you could take a 20-mile bike ride. Come visit our community, and then maybe they'll stay. And with the Innovation Center and all the great things that are happening there, you know, we're hoping to get 
you know, people have innovative ideas, and you know, when they open these businesses locally, they're they're gonna make people be like, wow, this is a cool place to be, yeah. and we, we you know we want to come here because these they're starting their businesses here. So correct, you know, we want we're trying to figure out ways to encourage people to get here, and we think with all the initiatives we have going that we're gonna be able to do that. So is it tough to track all these different things, or is it, <laughs> I know that's your job part of it, but is it is, you have so many things uh, yeah, going on? Yeah, what, and then you know what, and uh, and that's what people always say. There's so many things going on with Matt Tune in Motion, with the Innovation <laughs> Center, so many with in all motion. these new businesses. There's so many things in motion. But you know what? I thrive on that. I, you know, I love it. This community has done so much for my family, and we love it here so much. And the, and like I said, the volunteerism and everyone involved. If it's going to help Mattoon, I'm going to make the time to make it right. <laughs> he was here at 11 o'clock for a 12 o'clock show, so he's not lying. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited about this stuff, yes, um, yes. Let's talk about the chamber specifically now. For, we have a few minutes left here. Sure. Uh, as you look towards 2020, are you going to do things different? You got any goals, any any new events or happenings? Yeah, you know, again, the Innovation Center, getting that open, um, being heavily involved in the census, you know, that's something that the, the chamber, you know, people don't realize that it is important for our business community to get everyone counted because every single business, is in fact is affected if they don't get the full count so that, that you know that's going to be a big focus of ours we have some great events of course the golf outing we have our winter swing coming up at the end of the month which is always fun um, you know there's there's just a lot of things that are happening chamber bucks which is a big program of ours where all the money stays local that we set a record year last year and we want to really continue that momentum on chamber bucks to keep the money local so there's a lot of good things you know keeping the the businesses are really excited about all the opportunities that are coming. So, you know, it, that's that's what we do. We serve our members by, you know, creating more opportunities locally. So, what about openings on your board? Are you full for the 2020? Um, we got it. We got a new. We have a full board, and we're very excited about that. We're keeping it very diverse. What's nice is we Mel, the Mattoon Emerging Leaders, which are a group of people. To your point, you know, how do we keep the young people here? They're the group of people, 21 to 40 who want to make Mattoon better. They're called the Mattoon Emerging Leaders. And the last three presidents come onto our board because you know they're just automatically in there. And what's really nice is all three of those have decided to stay on our board and to be part of the chamber. So we're real excited about getting young people involved in the chamber and understanding how important it is for the community for them to be involved. So real exciting stuff. And that probably leads to more like the creative thinking and, and different ways to, to, to look at things. I, I've been on chamber boards. I've been on other boards where it's hard to sometimes you know, initiate change when it's the same old, same old. It, so it, it, young blood usually helps. Correct? Exactly. Like, I, you know, if somebody would have told me two years ago that dog parks and, you know, the bike trail and things like that are really important to younger people, I wouldn't, I would have thought, really? But then I find out that, you know, there's people who travel all the way to Champaign to, you know, to, to be at the dog park, young, young families, and they love their, love their dogs and they, you know, love the opportunity for, um, to be out and about, like on the trail, bike trails and things. So it's something that we learned from these younger board members that there are a lot of things they like they like their time off to be able to be to do things mm -hmm. and have fun so it's great that's it's awesome what, what is the status of the dog park is it i know is it, it's a fundraising goal and then city or how's that working yeah the city has already donated the land it's um out off of old state road and they're in the fundraising stage they're really close to being able to get phase one done which will be fenced in uh, it'll be eight acres, and it's going to be small dog section and a large dog section, and uh, they're going to have all kinds of different opportunities there. So it's real exciting. It should happen hopefully by by this summer. They're talking, yeah, the first phase. When you look, Pat, how long have you been on the, have been the executive? I've been director? five years. Five years. Now. God, time five years. flies. I know so it does fly. Yeah. I mean, do you when you look back at your first five years of accomplishments, I guess what are you most proud of, and then what do you think is the next big step? I think what I'm most proud of is being part of Matt Tune Emotion, and we from all these organizations we're getting so much national attention from this it's been going on for two and a half years most of these type of things they only last you know a year or you know then they write up this pretty plan and then it sits on the shelf we're actually growing with Matt Tune Emotion and everyone's so involved with this with the school system with the businesses with the city so that that I think is my biggest accomplishment and al along in and out of that came Elevate, CCIC Inc. And our next goal is to n expand on the coding, expand on the computer technology. We want to become, you know, the headquarters. We want to be the Midwest Silicon Valley. I mean, we literally, we think that we could do it. Somebody you know, asked me, right? We, yeah. you know, and, and what we're, and one of the organizations that we're involved with is saying, look, you can, you know, we can have these people work at our innovation center, which is going to be 
um, had the highest speed internet from Consolidated Communications. If we could have them work there um, for the Silicon Valley, you know, and, and live here and have the cost of living so much lower, why why not? And they're talking about being able to do that, so we can recruit people to our location who can work remotely, you know, and not have to pay what they're paying in, in California. Yeah, Five thousand dollar month rent. Five thousand dollar month rent, and that that's a viable solution, and we think it'd be great. And then so these people can live here and enjoy all the different things that we're creating. So we're real excited about yeah. those opportunities. That I think is going to be the big thing coming uh, out. Okay. Stuff. Can we leave anything out? I know you brought some stuff. I didn't know. We'll make no, sure we, no, any I of think, the things that you want to talk no, about. I think it, I think it's great and. Again, you know, w w this community, to your point, you know, what the, you're amazed at a community of support like this. You know, Rural King purchasing the mall, you know, giving us Elevate. They're giving us the $12 a year rent, you know, for the first, for 15 years, just to make sure it gets off the ground and gets going. You know, just the community and the volunteers in our community, I just can't, I just can't say enough. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm the executive director. So. Yeah. And well, Taco Bell built a new place, too, because, yes. I mean, they could have easily just shut down there, but they, they built a new restaurant. They built a new restaurant, and it didn't hurt because, you know, the, the mall's got plans for that, so it's exciting. So you. it's exciting. <laughs> Anything on your, still on your list over there, Alicia, no, on your thought? I, I think it's really, I can see the gears working in your head. Yeah. I think that's that's a kind of inspirational yeah. to see the excitement there. So maybe you'll stay in, in the Coles County, maybe? I don't know. It depends on if I graduate or not, <laughs> I guess. You have to just, graduate sometime. You can't be on the mic goes forever, forever all right? Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, I wish you luck. You did senior year, right? Yeah, senior well, year. second senior year. <laughs> second part, senior, senior year, year yeah. part two. Senior year part two. Yeah. We'll get it done. All right. Ed, did you make a New Year's resolution? And if so, are you willing to share? <laughs> New Year's resolution. Well, it, I, uh, I ran the marathon 12 years ago, and now I want to just be able to get back to a 5K. So that's, <laughs> that's my New Year's resolution. I that. I, I, that was uh, 70 pounds ago, so <laughs> so that's my New Year's resolution, to get, get back into shape a little bit. Most famous person you've ever met? Most famous person I've ever met. Wow. Um, interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to sports. I'm a, I'm a sports guy. Um, I was thrilled to be able to meet Walter Payton. Oh, um, that's a good when, uh, one. I met Walter Payton at one point. The nicest gentleman, you know, uh, it was it was it was amazing and you know, I've always I was always an idol of his. Yeah. I, I mean, he was always my yeah, idol. I guess, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any movies lately? Any good movies you could suggest for any, us? Any good movies? Good question. Uh I have not. I want to see. I could put you. I want to see. I want to see 1917. Yeah. I've heard that that's a yeah. phenomenal movie. I want to see that too. I want to see Call of the Wild too. You see yes. that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that book. Oh my gosh. Yep. Did you? You probably. I've, I don't know if you, I've you, never read the book, but I've seen the trailers for the movie. I'm sure when so. you were young. That yeah, was, I read that was a big thing when we were kids. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to set. Yeah. Uh, Super Bowl thoughts. Last night, the Super Bowl. A lot of people still kind of sat around here since uh, the Niners lost to Jimmy. But your thoughts? Like, again, game? I'm always, I'm always, you know, optimistic. Think of the good. You know, Jimmy had a great game. You know. Even though even though they lost, I think he played extremely well. I think he represented EIU well and rep represented our community. You know, even Rolling Meadows, where he's originally from. So, you know, it was nice. Andy Reid, you know, he's been a coach for so long. It was nice to see him, you know, win his first Super Bowl. But, again, you know, Jimmy played great. So you, you can't knock that. You right. know, even though they lost, he played great. So, What was your first car and what was color? Oh, my gosh. It You're was still on this, huh? I love this it, one. It was a <laughs> Nissan Sentra. And it was puke <laughs> green. It was the ugliest car <laughs> I've ever seen. But that was that was my that was my first car. I love that. Uh, Good right. question. Good All question. right. Well, thanks for coming in, Ed. Hey, it Ed was Dow. always a pleasure. We'll have yeah, you soon you back so and uh, keep everything hopping over there in Mattoon. That's Ed Dow from the Mattoon Chamber of Commerce. We are W E I U.